we do, and I don't know how much of this you can see, um, but we simply scan up and down through the abdomen, um, following the abdominal aorta, and we're going to measure it from its largest section. And what might a person present with that would need this scan? Unfortunately, um, nothing. Um, when you have symptoms for an aortic aneurysm, um, typically it's because it's rupturing. Um, so that's, uh, that's why aortic aneurysm is the leading cause of preventable death in the United States. Um, what we look for, again, um, we're looking for people um, who have a history of abdominal aortic aneurysm, um, especially women, uh, men who either have a history or who have ever smoked. Um, normally, we check patients at um, approximately 50 years of age and older. Um, very simply, this is the spinal column. Um, this is the abdominal aorta. Um, I don't think Amy will want me to get into all the parts here, um, but uh, we have some. So we have some uh, the colon here with bowel. Um, the renal arteries are coming off here to the right and to the left right renal artery, left renal arteries down here. Um, but again, the main thing that we're looking at is the abdominal aorta. Um, we're simply going to scan through the aorta. Um, we're going to check the size of the vessel. This is where it splits normally around the belly button, which sends a vessel out to the right leg and the left leg. Um, we'll, we'll scan the um, entire length of the abdominal aorta, and we'll take uh, a measurement of that vessel in its largest section. If there were an abnormality in this case, instead of a small hole here, which in this case measures, in this case um, the measurement is a little over one centimeter. With an abdominal aorta, we would see a much larger hole um, that's three centimeters or larger. And that's it for a AAA screen. It's easy. Mm -hmm.